Hi everyone, the chance now growing that we have a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico by the time we get to this time next week. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice keeping you up to date on what this could bring. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking this video. Let me know where you're watching from and subscribe as I will provide you updates. Yeah, something goes from a little bit of nothing to uh, something big in a hurry according to some of our most recent computer models. I'm going to break down all the possibilities with this. Starting with right now, uh, there's not much cooking right now. I mean, there's, there's a little bit going on here uh, in the form of, of what Gordon's trying to do, fizzling out and then trying to regenerate. But as we look deeper at what's going on out here, uh, we've got to look at what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Our European model continues to show a weak system. As we get toward next Monday, Tuesday, there's nothing going on. But by the time we get to Wednesday, you see a low pressure. That's just it. It's just a low pressure. It's nothing tropical. Nothing really gets organized here. There's a lot of moisture, humidity going on down there, but nothing really gets organized. As we go toward Wednesday night, Thursday of next week, the end of next week, we've got a low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico. In this case, because it's weaker, weaker goes west. You hear me say that a lot during hurricane season. And in this case, the European wants to show a weaker system going west. Texas, Louisiana, somewhere in that realm, and brings quite a bit of rainfall. Maybe at the very end here, next Thursday night, Friday, before making landfall over Texas or Louisiana, becoming a, a low-end tropical storm. But the Euro keeps things wet, it keeps things really sloppy. Let's look at the GFS. I'm going to show you the most recent run. It is an outlier here. It shows nothing again. What the European and the GFS agree on is something tries to form Wednesday. Wednesday's our origin day is it begins to form and then moves quickly to the north being steered up by a, a cold front. In this scenario, the GFS really wants to blow this thing up. A hurricane by Thursday morning. A hurricane kind of spinning around out here through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, making landfall in central Louisiana is a strong hurricane, uh, and then moving up the Mississippi uh, a little bit and then getting kicked south because a reinforcing shot of cooler air and a cold front's sitting somewhere in here. Therefore, this thing never really has a chance to get farther to the north, and it gets pushed down by uh, a ridge of high pressure building in toward the end of next week. As we look further, deeper at this, when, when I look at the tropics, there, there's a lot that I iron out. Well, you have to look deeper at the models, not just the one run of one model, okay? that's Anybody can do that, but as a meteorologist, what I do in these situations is I look at all the different runs of all the different computer models. And in this case, they show something is is trying to get formed here but they don't really agree on the location each low here is, is one of the gfs depictions of where this thing could go there there's 31 different ones of them okay uh in this case generally speaking florida seems to be an area that we see more impacts with i can iron that out in a more pretty map here by giving you basically an average of all those and in that case when you look at the average it keeps it weak, not a hurricane, but a sloppy tropical storm or a low pressure, and they keep it over Florida. Notice it's a 1,005 low right there. Rain moves over central Florida. It's 1,008 right there. You can't really make it out because it's such a weak low. Uh, this would be Sunday, Monday of the following week, okay? Um, that's what the GFS ensemble show. What about the European ensembles? Uh, they show a little stronger low, 1,005, then it kind of fizzles out again. This would be Thursday, Friday, kind of negligible where it goes, just kind of there. So rain, but nothing severe. How about the GFS rainfall totals? It wants to bring something into Louisiana uh, with four, five, six inches of rain. Uh, would not translate to the Carolinas, Georgia, or Florida, according to the European. When you look at the GFS, the most recent run shows something similar, a stronger hurricane with a lot of rain moving up through Louisiana uh, into parts of Arkansas and then moving east with some heavier rain into the Carolinas uh, into the following week. So in that case, uh, a lot would get some rain, but that's not what all the models show. If you go back just one more model run of the GFS, it shows it going over Florida. 
with four, five, six inches of rain and no rain due to a strong cold front coming through here, making it into the Carolinas or Georgia. What's more likely is probably an average of this, and that's Florida. Florida seems to be a more average consensus uh, from the models here. So Florida, Georgia, that, that, that seems to be kind of where this thing could try to head. And, and that's what we got to keep an eye on with this, because as this system is trying to form Wednesday, it doesn't have a lot of time before it moves north because a cold front wants to steer it up. So if you're watching right now in Florida, along the Gulf Coast anywhere, you need to be dialed in on this. And um, the chances of this making it up to the Western Carolinas, Georgia, Charlotte, Atlanta, uh, even East Tennessee, appear to be low at this time. Uh, as we move forward, as we go deeper, there is that chance that this thing does get a little bit more organized um, and we have more of a direct look at it. But right now, if I'm in Florida, I'm paying special close attention to this. Same with Louisiana, Mississippi, or Alabama. Okay, so that's kind of where things stand right now. You're going to see a lot on the internet. You show one of the midday runs of the GFS, you're thinking, my word, there's going to be a really, really bad hurricane coming our way. In reality, the majority or the average of the models are showing uh, kind of a sloppy low pressure system that may or may not be tropical in nature. Right now, the National Hurricane Center has a steady 30% chance at that. It's something we're going to keep a close eye on. And of course, using all of my tools that I have here, I'm going to keep you posted along the way. Uh, you know, That's kind of my jam. When it comes to tropical systems, when it comes to severe weather, when it comes to snow, I like to give you early warning of what's happening so you can keep your family safe. So please, in the comment section, if you will, let me know where you're watching from right now. And again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, helps out with the YouTube algorithms, and we'll get it out there to folks. Folks, please stay tuned on this. My commitment to you is to keep you posted. Stay tuned.